I am Anthony from Hatchersnet, and today we're looking at the Power Rangers Dino Megazord. Now, as you see in front of me, these are, of course, the five Dino Zords. And uh, each of them came in a box, as you see in the back here, which is a, a blister box, and is rather straightforward. Now, Hasbro took over ownership of the Power Rangers, and so this is their first main toy like output they put out some collectibles they put out action figures but i think this is their first megazord although they did recently also release the zeo megazord but it does not combine now there are two different price points this one is the lower end around 15 dollars usd per group of which there are three group one group two group three so 45 dollars to get this whole guy us dollars by the way or you can buy something like the zeo megazord which is much more expensive and, and it doesn't even separate. So it just depends on what your level collector is. And of course the action figures are around $20 each for the high-end ones. And of course the less expensive TV line based ones uh, are, you know, $15, $20 and the, and the Zords are low, lower priced. Um, but not this is not the same line, so don't get them confused. This is a different line. So each of these boxes came with some instructions. Now this is the Tyrannosaurus instructions. It comes with the uh, white don't hurt yourself paper as Hasbro does. And the instructions are rather straightforward for transformation and combining. And this one, of course, forms into both its Zord form and its battle form, which I think is spectacular as really the difference in forms is standing versus sitting, I guess, really. But uh, here is the instructions for the mammoth and the pterodactyl. And, and again, it shows the transformations and the forms. And the instructions for the Sabertooth Tiger and Triceratops. And, uh... So, the Tyrannosaurus comes with a sword, which is, of course, the Megazord sword. And the Mammoth comes with these two pistols, which, uh... I think also attached to the Megazord. I don't remember where, but we'll see how that goes. So, uh, the transformation isn't difficult. Although, I should mention a couple of things. First off, this guy doesn't have any wheels. Now, in, if you remember the original 93 series, he never had legs either. And then, of course, his tail and this transformation simply goes back while his head goes forward. Now, if you're going, well, this reminds me of something. Yes, it does. It's Voltron you're thinking of. That is, that, is the, uh, that is what it's reminding you of. Sabertooth Tiger, his legs are movable and his tail is movable, but for the sake of transformation, fold that in. And then the legs just uh, go into the one place here. And, uh, and I'm never quite sure what to do with this group here. Um, although it does show in the instructions that they, they should be supporting the head. Which I guess makes sense. Although the fact that you have to put these upwards, that looks weird to me. I, it is, uh, it's different. So the mammoth is, um, here's the thing that annoys me. His legs just come off. The, well, I mean, at least those two do. The, they don't do very much else. And of course, this guy is the torso and the head. And, uh, it's 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 uh it's interesting there's a lot of molded plastic and uh you just see the hands in here and you just fold them around like this and you already got the hands and then you pull the head off and we start forming the body pull this out Oh, if I can get it, because so I don't want to break it. There we go. It's really on there. And then, of course, shoulders come up. Let's put the arms. Let's get the arms into the right place there. Hold on. I 
I mean, that's the way we're going to have to do it. So we, uh, anyway, because of the picture, it shows his arms at a 90 degree angle to hold the sword. And then it also shows a yellow line, which is not visibly on this toy. Um, so it's, it's, uh, it's kind of weird that there's inconsistency there. But also trying to figure out like in what position what things go. But we'll put this aside. And then this is simple. Fold the, I should say, say fold the head in, and fold the wings in, and it just attaches to the chest. So it's really straightforward. And uh, let's get to the big guy. So uh, his mouth doesn't open very far, but you can see what he's concealing, right? Actually, you know what? While I'm at it, his arms fold up. His legs do this thing. Oh, be careful. Um, again, this is not the highest end toy, but you don't want to do what I just did. Anyway, fold the legs up. Fold the tail up. Instructions said do this, and then his head folds in. Oh, well, okay, that's fairly nifty. And then these should latch in. There we go. There we go. And then we can put the tail up. So far, so good. And in theory, we can start throwing these guys on. So they're just simple tab ends. So just push a little bit of force. And as we look on here, we can tell that this, based on the clips here, go this way. So before I do that, let's open the editor. There we go. And then we close them in. Okay, that looks like it locked into place. And then assuming I folded the wings right, which I believe I did, this should just latch on. Or maybe not. Okay, so I... Oh, there they are. Little clips. Okay, cool. That's in. And then... It says... Put him back here. This comes out and is used as a weapon. So there we go. And then... The sword. Although, like, let's look at the box. It shows the hands upright, but they don't seem to do that. Like, there is no posability on the hands. So, there's been a difference in they designing it and then deciding, well, we're not going to do that particular thing. And then I end up with these guns, which, and, and of course, these legs. Of which I don't see. Oh, okay. Well, the guns fit in the leg ports. Nope. Okay. So then the legs must be for battle mode, which, frankly, is just pretty much this. Oops. Maybe his legs staying on. And it says, for battle mode, you pull off this piece, pull up his dinosaur head, which means we have to put these things back. And then we put his mammoth head on his chest. I'm not quite sure where. Oh, I see. Okay. We put it here. That doesn't quite work. See, the picture, and I'll show you, shows it like this. And it says put it in the thing below his nose.
which I guess technically works. It just isn't as good as maybe you would like it to be. And then I still don't have a place for these cannons. Does it even have instructions for the cannons? Oh yeah, it does. It goes at the end of the feet, which are the arms. So then we take this out and flip these around. But without the promised risk articulation or any articulation, these don't look really great. So, I mean, keep in mind that a full cost Megazord, you know, there would be a lot more articulation, a lot more features, and a lot more definitely going on. But for for, for what it was ultimately dollars in tax, uh not the worst thing, but definitely if you're a collector, you're just standing it up somewhere, so it really doesn't matter. But uh, for a kid's toy, they might be a little frustrated with it, uh, just because of the lack of posability and whatnot. But it's really a, a judgment call on what uh, you like or not. But let's quickly go back into the Megazord mode. For an entry-level toy, the Dino Megazord is spectacular. It's just... If you don't want to spend a lot and give yourself or your kids a, a Power Rangers toy, it's fine. There's no real articulation per se. And then you got pieces you got to figure out what to do with when you're not using them. It's a whole thing. Um, but, I mean, for a first attempt at something in this level by Hasbro, it's okay. But uh, compared to the classic Zords, uh, yeah, the classic Zords are going to be hard to beat. Uh, Bandai really knew how to... Uh, some effort into them but that's also why they were super expensive so anyway let me know in the comments what you think of the dino megazord and of course your memories of other power rangers megazords maybe you even are just a bigger fan of voltron of which i have one of my background if you ever see my live chats but uh thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe thank you for checking out our content before you leave please remember to click like and then subscribe if you want to receive notifications, do not forget to enable them by clicking on the bell. Then afterwards, check out our social media at Hasledge.net and our website at hasledge.net.